Here at Remy Depot's ferret conservation and breeding program, we have now added three additions to the stable. First up is a 1960-23. This will be a full up restoration and will be available to a customer in the near future. This ferret is really in good nick. On initial check, that's what we like doing is getting a baseline on the vehicle. After about an hour's work, a few electrical issues, a little bit of a carburetor issue, but we have it up and running. The next ferret we have here is a Mark I. This is a customer's ferret. It came up for service. So we actually did a full service on this, oil, spin-on adapter, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, with various parts added, new batteries, and a test rod. This is a really nice ferret. Runs good, steers good, drives good. Really maintained in good condition. This one uh, should be returning to the customer here within the next week or so. 06 Charlie Charlie 1-2, a ferret 2-3, has been recently purchased. We've had it in our stable for approximately eight months, restoring what needed to be done, but full service, spin on all filter adapter, you know, new batteries, and it will soon be leaving our stable. Some of the history on this vehicle, we've actually got pictures where it served in Malaysia, Borneo, and Northern Ireland. So it's got a bit of history to it. Good run a little ferret. The last ferret in the lineup is very unique. Recently purchased here just a few days ago, this ferret says nothing but Northern Ireland all over it. This is what they call a wire cutter. Uh, Northern Ireland was possible that uh, somebody would hang a wire across the road. The commander standing up here would get decapitated. This prevented that. Something like a line cutter on a helicopter. Uh, ammo boxes on the side and in the back, a slide out crew rest area. This one's going to be ready to camp in. All the ferrets we get in, that's the first thing I like to do is check the oil, check the water, see if it'll turn over, get it idling, even if it's a rough idle, doesn't matter. But then we get a baseline, go over the electrical system, see if it's charging, see if it's not charging, check the water temperature as it warms up, and then test out the gearbox and other items in the vehicle. So all in all, it's a lot of fun. If you want to own one, they will be available in the near future.